I turned off the power, so I checked with the multimeter and made sure power is off. So this is my current setup. I have two 40 amp fuses uh, taking 120 volts each. So currently these are eight gauge wires, the power ones, and my ground is a 10 gauge wire. So this was used for my standard J1772 level two charger, which I had installed seven years ago. So I'm gonna be replacing these with 60 amp fuses and I'm gonna replace the power wires with four gauge and I'm gonna replace the ground with six gauge wiring to get the maximum charge rate out of the new Tesla Gen 3 wall connector. Instead of using fish tape to feed the wire through, what we did is we connected the new four gauge wire to the existing eight gauge power wire and we basically just used electrical tape and we're gonna pull from one side and push from the other and that's how we're going to get the wire through and we already did that with the ground wire as you can see here so we got the new wires through so you could see the two lines are coming in here and then the, these are the two loads so each one is carrying 120 and these are the grounds so together they combine to 240 and so it's going through this one thing to note is that you could either drill holes from here and here or you could actually take out the bottom or the top. Okay, so we decided to mount the charging station here. So this cardboard piece comes with it and allows you to perfectly make your holes uh, that will align with the actual back piece of the charger. So we're gonna choose this right screw and the center screw. The reason why we're gonna choose the right screw is because these wires are really kind of blocking the center. And we're just gonna pick the center on the bottom right here just because that seems like the strongest point from these so make sure it's leveled that we've already done here okay so it's level now so we're going to use the sharpie feel free to also use a screwdriver to like because you're going to drill it anyway so it doesn't really matter so there it is so i see the sharpie in here so these are the two holes that we need to drill so we're going to use a hammer drill and it should go through this thing like butter. Butter. Okay, so the wall connector didn't come with anchors, so I just got them from Home Depot. It's hammer time. You're actually supposed to drill these holes before you put the wires through, but I put the wires through to see where I could put my box in just because I have this flexible conduit. So, yeah, I'm just gonna drill it in place. Obviously, you have to drill the correct holes that you drilled uh, in the guide. And make sure your fingers aren't directly behind this and you're wearing safety goggles. The rest we're going to do the screwdriver. That way you could feel how much force you're putting in. Okay, that's not going anywhere. Just an FYI, you actually still need the same bit to tighten this. So, which is nice that it comes with it, but it's not just like a regular uh, Phillips or flathead screwdriver that's actually the same drill bit to tighten the wires once you pop them in here. Upon constructive criticism from Reddit, I want to show you guys my mistake. I essentially left these wires exposed in this box only. But don't do this, don't leave any wires exposed. Obviously the power is off right now. The power was never turned on. So I'm going to redo this part. I'm going to start from here and I'm going to do the drip loop that Tesla recommends. No more exposed wires. Wires are in using the recommended torque settings, following the drip loop pattern that Tesla recommends and we cable tied it here. I'm gonna cut back to last week's install where I'm actually putting the box on and continue from there, to which I will also show you guys charging the car and the rate we actually get. Here comes the finale. Yeah, this thing looks small and it looks nice and it looks futuristic. Let me screw this thing in so the wall. The good thing about this 
bit that comes with the box is that you could really screw in from a lot of different angles. So you could screw in like a tilted position. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Tesla wall connector installed. Okay, so now we're turning it on. That was the initial setup, the startup sequence. Now it's gonna show us that there's five lights on. So this is essentially indicating that we are connected to 60 amps because that's what it's detecting. And then it's gonna go to a single light, which means it's in standby mode. So now that we connected the Tesla wall connector, now we wanna connect it to our Wi-Fi network. And the way we do that is on your phone, connect, uh, enable your Wi-Fi and connect to the Tesla wall connectors Wi-Fi which is basically specified here that I'm hiding with tape because there's also a password and stuff. You could either sc uh, scan the QR code or you could connect to this Wi-Fi that I'm hiding and type in the password. And essentially this is the example. So when you look here it'll be some SSID just like this with different numbers at the end and once you connect to this make sure your phone stays connected to it because when your phone detects that it, there's no internet connection sometimes it reverts back to your normal wi-fi so make sure you're currently connected to it when you're there then go to this address so uh, 192.168.92.1 so you go here and then you'll get to this configure page which i will show you and follow the run wizard here and it will ask you for all the appropriate things. So I'm connected to a 60 amp breaker, so I'm gonna select 60 amps. And it's saving the configuration. And once that's saved, I'll click continue. Essentially follow the steps. And select the Wi-Fi you want the Tesla wall connector to connect to. Essentially, when you select your home Wi-Fi, then the Tesla wall connector connects to your home Wi-Fi and now it's connected to the internet. And then you're ready to go. Okay, so it's charging at 42 miles an hour, not quite the 44 miles an hour that it was advertising, but close enough to it. And if we go to display, energy, and it's charging at 11 kilowatts. So there it is, folks basically two 60 amp fuses going to four gauge wires for the power 120 volts each you have the ground there which is an eight gauge it goes through the pipes and then it comes out of here so you have two lines and, and two loads and then you have the ground and i'm just going to put this in the off selection for now until the power gets turned on and it comes all the way to the tesla box and there it is, that's the finished product and I should be able to charge at 44 miles of range per hour at 11.5 kilowatts with the Model 3 performance. So that was the install and it took about a couple hours primarily because it, because of the thicker wires I was dealing with it was a little bit harder to bend and put in certain places and stuff. But I took out my existing standard J1772 which is already installed by a licensed electrician so that was good to go but as always this video is for instructional purposes only so always get a licensed electrician to do things of this nature for you and always make sure the power is up which they will do but one thing i like about this box is the thinner wire super flexible i like this power button it opens up your charge cord on your tesla it, lo it looks all sleek and nice and pretty easy to pop in and take out and uh, thank you guys for watching